How's it going, buddies? My name is Double D, and today we are going to be playing the Hunger Games Simulator. Uh, well, it's not really playing. Basically, we're going to be reading the Hunger Games Simulator. What it is, is you select characters in each district, and it kind of simulates how a Hunger Games would be played out with these people. So, our cast, of course, in District 1, you have myself and you have Lexi Doll. District 2, we have Mr. King Miltank and Kai Lau. District 3, we have Landon and Like Butter. I do apologize for Landon. It's a picture I couldn't find a decent one of him. So it's kind of like <laughs> a little less flattering, so I do apologize. District 4, we have Zerka and Simon. District 5, we have That Taylor and DS Fiery. That Taylor, in case you guys don't know, she's a um, beauty YouTuber. Just in case you guys don't know who she is. Um, District 6, we have Grade A, Under A, and Calyx. District 7, we have Matt and Pat of the two best friends. These are all basically like my personal, uh, people who I personally watch and things like that. District 8, we have one random dolly team up with Vicstar123. District 9, we have Ethan and Tope Chisel. District 10, we have Arthur Vines and Marlin, so that's like the District of Viners. District 11, we have Max Morpho and How To Basic. <laughs> and uh, District 12, we have KSI and Deji and the the least flattering pictures out of a lot of them. <laughs> so in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm a big fan of the Sidemen. Um, so I kind of have as many of them in as I can. I think I got them all, except for Harry, but you know, the running joke is Harry's never in any fucking videos anyway. So we are going to get this started and we are going to see who would come out on top in a Hunger Games situation. So without further ado, let's proceed. As the tribute stand on the podium, the horn, horn sounds. Marlon runs away from the court. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. Basically, Marlon runs away. One random dolly runs away. Calyx finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Zerka runs away. Double D runs away. King Miltank scares Grady under A away from the starting place. DS Fiery runs away. Landon runs away. Matt scares Deji away. <laughs> Max Morpho runs away. Oh, sorry, runs away with a lighter and some rope. Like Butter runs away. Ethan finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Vicstar finds a canteen full of water, Simon runs away, Pat runs away, Arthur runs away. So I'm guessing this is how this starts off at the very start, obviously. Tove runs away, KSI runs away, Lexiol finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Kai gathers as much food as he can, Taylor finds how to basic hiding... Oh my god, Taylor finds how to basic hiding in the corn copia, I think it is, and kills him. So the first death is fucking Taylor kills how to basic. Jesus fucking Christ. Grady under ADS, Fiery, Calyx, and KSI hunt for other tributes. Zerka picks flowers. <laughs> um, okay. Did you receive medical supplies from an unknown sponsor? Simon hunts for other tributes. One random dolly receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. I'm not looking forward to this next bit because there's fucking five of us. Taylor, Vicstar, Light Butter, Double D, and Ethan hunt for others. Alright, that's not too bad. Arthur steals from Kyla while he isn't looking. Marlon receives medical su supplies from an unknown sponsor. Pat diverts Lexi Doll's attention and runs away. Max Morpho receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Matt constructs a shack. There we go. Landon and Tob Jizzle work together for the day. It's not too bad. Miltank receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Now, I ain't really looking forward to that. Because I'm guessing... Like, I've seen other people do this before, and somebody with the explosive usually just causes fucking collateral damage. One cannon shot, one cannon shot can be heard in the distance. How Too Basic is the only death. Um, so far. Night one. Toby lets Taylor into his shelter. A bit fucking dangerous. <laughs> Look at that fucking picture of Deji. Deji, Lexidol, Arthur, and DSL Fire tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Calyx passes out from exhaustion. KSI starts a fire. King Miltan, Grady, Underay, Matt, and Ethan tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Oh shit, Simon defeats Circuit in a fight but spares his life. Holy shit, that's the last two people I thought would have fucking all been fighting. So, Jesus Christ, man. Max Morpho receives clean water. Uh, like Butter, Kai, and Pat cheerfully sing songs together. I go to sleep. It's not too bad. Vicstar sets a fire, but s sees a fire, but stays hidden. Marlin starts a fire. Uh, one random dolly cooks her food before putting her fire out. Landon tends to his wounds. So, really, not very much killings going on. The only person that's died so far is... I think, unless Calyx is dead, but he passed out from exhaustion, so I'm not 100% sure. Simon overhears Matt and Zerka talking in the distance. Ethan, KSI, Like Butter, and Max Mofo raid Tobe Jizzle's camp while he is hunting. Arthur receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. D 
PSI Fiery tra travels to higher ground. Taylor and one random Dolly Hunt for the for other tributes. Deji stalks King Mill Tank. Fair enough. Uh, Lexi Doll and Kyla fight Double D and Marlon. Double D and Marlon survive. So I don't know if fucking Lexi and Kai are dead. Jesus Christ, Pat Chase is landing. Uh, Vixar fishes. Vixar just seems to really be keeping to himself. Grady diverts Kalex's attention, so Kalex was actually alive. Oh shit, yeah, so Lexi Doll and Kyle have been killed. That's what you get for fucking trying to kill me and Marlon, man. So two deaths. Two deaths in that district, so we have currently the deaths are how to basic Lexi Doll and Kai Lau. So let us continue. Zerka thinks about home, I quietly hum. KSI cries himself to sleep. Fair enough. Landon thinks about winning. Grady, oh sorry, Grady, sorry. One random dolly lets Matt into a shelter. Marlon sets up camp for the night. Calix and Like Butter hold hands, as you do. KSI. Sorry, Deji finds a tree to rest. I can't get over that fucking picture of Deji. What is it? Have a quick, uh, have a quick look before I continue. It's just <laughs> I don't know why I picked that one. Talk jizz on Max Morpho, King Miltag, and Pat sleep in shifts, so they all seem to be working together. Arthur let Vicstar want to three into his shelter, so Vicstar has actually decided to uh, engage with some people. Simon strangles Grade Eight under a with a rope. Jesus Christ, man. DS DSI Fiery, Ethan and Taylor discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Jesus Christ, man. Simon Savage. Fix that one to three. Camouflages himself in the bushes. Like Butter sets off an explosive killing part. Landon searches for firewood. Zerka defeats Taylor in a fight but spurs her life. So both Zerka and Simon have... Well, Simon's killed someone now, but they spur people in a fight. Uh, I collect fruits from a tree. Ethan stalks DS Fiery. That's something that I can see him doing. He's a bit of <laughs> joke, joke. Max Morpho receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Oh my god, Deji sets off an explosive, killing Arthur Calix, King Will Tank, and Simon. Fucking savage, man. Deji. Tob Jizzle tends to KSI's wounds. Marlin diverts Matt's attention and runs away. One random dolly dies from thirst. Jesus. Well then, so that's quite a few fucking deaths, man. So we had seven deaths. We had Grade A under A. Pat, Arthur, Calix, King Miltank, and Simon. Oh, sorry, and one random dolly. So that's everyone from District 6 dead? Yeah, Calix and... Fucking hell, man. So let's see everyone's status so far. So I'm alive and I have two kills. Landon's alive like butter. Zerka, Taylor, Fiery, Matt, Vicstar, Ethan, Tob Jizzle, KSI, Deji. Jesus Christ, Deji got four kills, man. Marlon and Max Mofo. I get the feeling that Vicstar's going to win this. Just because of how cautious he is. But let's continue. This is fucking intense, man. Taylor receives fresh water from an unknown sponsor. Marlon fends Landon, Tubjizzle, and Zerka away from his fire. Matt and Like Butter tell stories about themselves to each other. Double D and Deji talk about the tribute still alive. It's probably the fucking money that I'm conspiring with fucking Deji, man. Max Morpho starts a fire. KSI begs for Ethan to kill him. He refuses keeping KSI alive. Jesus Christ, man. The last thing I would have expected. Uh, DSI Fiery sets up camp for the night. Vicstar climbs a tree to rest. Vicstar is literally just hiding and like being really cautious. That's why I think he might win this. Marlon, Taylor, and Vicstar track down and kill DS Fiery. Okay, never mind. Vicstar just went proper heel turn. Um, Landon begs Ethan to kill him. That's two people that have asked Ethan, like that. I've asked Ethan to kill him, but he's refusing to keep, but he's keeping Landon alive. Light Butter kills Deji with his own weapon. Fucking Deji's gone. Zerka goes hunting. Double D tends to Matt's wounds. Uh, Tob Jizzle receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Max Morpho stalks KSI. Right, so Fiery and, DS Fiery and Deji died. So far, so we've got, so it's slowly, slowly getting there. Max Morpho and Double D track down and kill Landon. Like Butter convinces Vicstar 133 to snuggle with him. <laughs> Fair enough. Zerka defeats Ethan in a fight but spurs his life. I feel like this game knows the Sidemen. Because they're just... They're, they're, they're not killing each other. I feel like they know. Except for Dej. Well, Dej is not a part of the Sidemen. He just fucking kills Simon. But I feel like this game knows. I feel like this game might know. 
Matt spears Marilyn in the abdomen. KSI cries himself to sleep again. Uh, Taylor convinces Toad Grizzle to snuggle with her. Well then. Right. Lightboard overhears Matt and Vic Star talking in the distance. KSI overhears Max Mofo and Ethan talking in the distance. I discover a river. Taylor steals from Zerka while he isn't looking. Toad Grizzle travels to higher ground. Why are we on that? We're on day five. And these are all the guys that's left. It's fucking hell, man. It's kind of bad though, right? And I always do this when there's like a Sideman video. If I don't win, I kind of want Zerka to win because I fanboy over him so fucking hard. That's just personal. A tsunami rolls into the area, right? Case I hold Matt underwater to drown fucking savage. Like Butter and Taylor smash their heads together as the tsunami rolls in, leaving them both to drown. Ethan survives. Max Morpho survives. Toby survives. Vicstar survives. I'm swept away. Fuck, man. Right. For the I could, but I think I'm. I think I'm gone. Now Zerka's next. For the love of fucking god, Zerka survives. Right. So he's the one that I'm rooting for now. Um, even though I do think the fucking Vicstar will win it. So Land Landon's picture keeps fucking doing that. I don't know why. Landon's dead. Marlon's dead. Matt, like Butter, Taylor, and myself. So, <laughs> here we go. Vicstar is unable to convince Toad Jizzle to not kill him. Oh shit, so Vicstar is dead. Is it? I think that means that Vicstar is dead. Vicstar is unable to convince Toad Jizzle to not kill him. So Vicstar has been killed by Toby. Max Morpho climbs a tree to rest. Uh, Zerka is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Ethan and KSI talk about the tribute still alive. So that's one, two, three, four. So we've got six guys left. Fucking hell, man. Max Morpho, Tob Jizzle, Zerka, and KSI form a suicide pack, killing themselves. What the fuck? Ethan decides not to go to the forest. So who's left? So it's. It's just Ethan. Ethan won! Ethan, for, the winner is Ethan from District 9. Fucking hell, man. I thought. Fucking. I thought so the winner is Ethan from District 9. So that's like both of my fucking things I thought was gonna, I thought Vicstar was gonna win. I hoped I was gonna win. But to be honest though, I do like Ethan as well. But uh, yeah, fucking hell man. Let's proceed to the placements. So, the winner. So we'll start from the reverse in order. So how to basic is 24th, die straight away. Then Lexi doll, then Kai, then Grade A, Under A, then Pat, Arthur, Calix, King Mill Tank, Simon, One Random Dolly, DS Fiery, Deji, Landon, Marlin, Matt, Like Butter, Taylor, me, Vicstar, Max Morpho, Toad Jizzle, Zerka, KSI, and Ethan. Now, what's actually quite interesting that I've just noticed is that Ethan won without killing anyone. Which is quite cool. Who had the highest kill count? Uh, from the looks of things, it's tied between Deji. No, it's, no, Deji had the highest kill count. Yeah, Deji had the highest kill count. So, Ethan, Zerka, Landon, uh, Fiery, One Random Dolly, King Miltang, Calyx. So quite a few people didn't kill anyone. But fucking hell man, so Ethan won without fucking killing anybody. So that just shows that being a pacifist is not always a bad thing. Oh, I mean, that's not like, <laughs> balances the answer. No, that's not what I meant. But Jesus Christ, man. I actually quite enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more things like this, please suggest who should go into the next Hunger Games. I might do a little series on these because this, this was actually quite fun. I didn't do too bad, I managed to get to 7th, but uh, had to kill my fiance in the, in the process. So that's not always a good thing. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and until next time, catch you guys later.